Hello. Here we go. Right. I'm about to make an absolute debacle of Phantom of Truth. Is it Phantom of Truth? Yes, Phantom of Truth. Um, there's my chaos bag. Um, because I died in the last scenario, I have cultists in the bag now. Um, I have only ever played this scenario once before. And that was in a group of four about a month ago. Can't remember much about it. I think I died. Um, I've, I've switched to a investigator I have never played before. Um, I stole the deck of Arkham DB about three or four weeks ago with the aim of doing some practicing and Marvel Champions came out so that didn't happen so this is almost as good as a double blind playthrough with an investigator I've not played before a deck I can't remember and a look and a scenario I've only played once so should be good right I have my Arkham style dice that I got from Arkham Knights. So I'm going to randomly select these two locations. I'm going to say an odd is the one on the top and an even we're using the one on the bottom. So this one, that's an even, so we're using the one on the bottom. This one, that's an even, so we're using the one on the bottom. Come on, give me an odd just to mix it up. No, it's an even, so we're using the one on the bottom. There you go. I'm not using my location markers because it's quite, it would, it would get a bit too big for the camera. So, Patrice, um, maximum hand size is reduced by three and during upkeep, instead of drawing a card, I discard everything except weaknesses and draw up to five. That's a completely different way of playing. I understand it's based on a Lord of the Rings character which I have never played, although a second-hand copy just turned up in the post for me this morning. Very adore, something like that. I have a coffee. I've been tweaking with the delay on my camera, so everything is reasonably in sync now. Whether it stays that way is a different matter. So, let's... I'll do a bit more shuffle. Uh, this is all pre-shuffled, not predetermined. But I'll do a live shuffle just to, so I can't be accused of um, pre-setting everything up. And given how well my previous games have gone, I think you'll agree I could never be accused of doing that. Right. So, hand size of five, draw five. Unexpected courage in the banging area, overpower, reckless assault, cornered, mists of rear. So, mists of really, really will give me some extra evasion powers. Cornered lets me discard cards to boost skills, which will be really useful. I'm keeping that because I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be discarding cards in amount of mists. I'm not sure whether to. I think I will keep that. Makes sense. That's two assets. The rest: unexpected courage, overpower, and reckless assault. Reckless assault is going to be better later when I have low sanity. Overpower, I'll probably keep the unexpected courage and I'll ditch the overpower. And I certainly won't be having a weakness. Wing it, which plays from my discard pile and run for my life. So I will, dis I will shuffle my mulligans back into my deck. Right, let's have a look. We have the Gardorze, 
Built in 1900, the train station was the first urban station in the world to use only electric trains. There you go, Harkham is education. So, Shroud of Four, one clue per investigator. I can spend a resource to move to any rail location. Oh, yes, I remember this one. Vaguely. Um, my agenda. First night, as you step off the train in Gare d'Orsay, the sun sinks below the Paris skyline. You cannot waste any time. If Nigel Engram is somewhere in Paris, you have to find him and wring the answers from him one way or another. If you have more conviction than doubt, I don't. I have zero of both. When checking the Doom threshold, Doom one cards other than this agenda subtract. So I can ignore that statement. And Act 1A, the Parisian Conspiracy Version 1. You pass the church of St. Barnabé as you exit the train station and cannot help but overhear the organ playing. Is there a sermon late this late in the evening? You marvel at the wild and strange chords for a moment before continuing. Paris is a big city and you have very few leads. So we can either spend two clues to advance or we advance when we hit three doom on the agenda. Right, so my book skill is two. I can't use run for my life yet. In fact, what I'm going to do for my first action is spend two for cornered. I will discard. Let me think. Let me get this right. So I can discard one card to boost a skill test by two and it's limit once per test. So even though it's a free action, I can only discard one card. So I can't discard four cards and get plus eight. So my investigate is two. Let's investigate with an unexpected courage and I will use cornered to discard winging it so I can play winging it from a discard pile to get another plus two. So I'm going with a six on a four. Six on a four. That was a sign. Wowza. I usually take the first pull of the day to uh, say this is how the game's going to go today. So if that's a sign, then I'll decide. Uh, yeah, should be good. We'll see. Right, so I've got my clues. First action. Second action. Sorry, there's a bit of glare down there. I'm sat a slightly different way around this week. Hopefully that's not too off-putting. Right. So what do I need? I need another clue to advance the act. I could spend a resource to go anywhere by rail. I've done two actions, but I'll advance my tracker. Right, action three. I've got absolutely no idea where I need to go. So I'm just going to go Next door, sure, should I spend a resource and travel by train? Now, nah, let's just go to the gardens. Third action, move into the gardens. One clue per investigator. One victory point. While a Biaki enemy is moving, if there is an investigator at the gardens, that enemy's location is considered to be connected to the gardens. Right, so a Biaki anywhere can move direct to the gardens if there's an investigator at the gardens. That's going to be a tough one to remember. Um, I'm going to stick one of my red glass beads on here just to remind me that there's something odd with that location that I need to remember. Okay, so that's my three actions. No enemies in play. Nothing to ready. Discard and draw to five. One, fearless. Two, prophecy. Three, defiance. Four, Pete. 
and five say your prayers. Yeah, resource. Doom, one of six. Encounter. If you have no clues, that's not correct. If you have one or more clues, test book of four from each point you fail by and place a clue on your location. Right, what have I got here? I've only got a book of two. So chances are this clue is getting dropped back here, but at least it's only a three shroud location rather than a four. I think I... Tank. I think I tank the test. Prophecy is no good yet because there's already doom in play. This was only one doom in play, and this only really gets a benefit when we get three or six doom in play. Who's this will That's a head anyway. Uh, so those three head ones are no good to me. Sorry, I'm thinking aloud on camera. So I could potentially add these two, but Defiance is more useful. Prophecy is going to get more useful as the act progresses. I might, rather than commit Prophecy for one, I might discard it. Where's that here? I might discard it to get plus two from cornered. So at least I'm testing a four on a four. Four on a four. That's four. So I failed. I lose my one clue. Right. Action one. Let's investigate. Uh, no mind me what winging does. it does. I will pay one to play winging it from my discard pile, which I can do. This reduces my shroud by one, so that brings it down to two. Um, I will use Cornered to discard Say Your Prayers for a plus two. So I'm now testing a four on a two. A four on a two. I don't have tablets or other things in the bag. It's just schools and cultists. So oh, defiance isn't going to help me. So four and a two minus one. That's a pass. And if I played it from a discard pile, gain an additional clue. Oh, and because I played it from my discard pile, it gets shuffled back into my deck. I love winging it. Hello, Jeff. Right, that was action one. Nice, two clues in one go. Which actually, I can spend those clues to advance. I'm going to do that now after my first action. If you spent clues to advance, you nearly bump into a tall man, his coat and hat black as his skin is pale. You remember seeing him through the windows of St Barnabé Church. His organ playing continues to haunt you. Spawn the set aside to the organist enemy at the lead investigator's location. Draped in mystery. Side up. Advance to Act 2, Pursuing Shadows. Which means that. To a act to store by shadows is out. 
The chords that echo in your mind, that infernal man whose organ playing intrigues and terrifies you, perhaps there is a connection between this shadowy presence and the king in yellow. After I successfully attack the organist, an investigator at your location may place one of his or her clues on the organist, one, one time per round. If there are three clues on him, like that. So I have to attack him three times, and he is aloof. He has a fight of three, and I have a fight of two. Right. At the end of the enemy phase, we move the, lo the organist one location away. Uh, excuse me one second while I add that to my tracker. Sorry, door. Just one second. I'm back. Sorry about that. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Neighbour very kindly let me know that it started to rain and I got some washing out. Right. So I have taken one action. I then advanced the act which has spawned the organist at my location and I've just tweaked my tracker to add um, organist movement. Check. So, at the end of the enemy phase, if the organist is unengaged, move it one location away. If it's engaged, disengage it instead. Right. So, should I... Action 2, engage. And action three, try and punch it as hard as I can with my measly two. I've gone up it to a four with corner. Um, but ideally I want to keep Peter. Um, hang on, I'm going to unpick that. I haven't revealed anything yet. Back to action two. 
Action 2 is going to be pay 3 for Peter, so I don't want to lose him. And then action 3 is kind of pointless, so I think I will move. If I move, he'll move further away, so I've got to wait two actions to get into him. I might, for my third action, I might just engage him. Yeah, that'll do. At least I'll keep him with me. Right, come to enemies move. There are none. Enemies attack. Organist deals one horror, which I give to Peter. Move organist, so he disengages, so he is back at my location and aloof. Nothing to ready. We draw one, two, three, four, five. I know it's early days, but I'm quite enjoying Patrice so far. It's added a whole fresh outlook to the game. Right, I have two St. Hubert's key in one go. And I have no resources left to spend on either of them. So wait, what did I get here again? Sorry, I read it all out and I didn't pay any attention. So I've got improvised weapon. Unexpected courage in the bagging area. Deny existence. Encounter scarred. An enemy attack would cause you to... Do one of the above, ignore it. That's, well, it might be useful in the upcoming mythos phase. Two St. Hubert's keys, that's. I'm really upset about that because there's no way I can play either of them because I've just spent my money on Pete. Okay, Doom! That flips to two out of six. Encounter. Marked by the sign. Peril. Test head of two. If you fail, take two horror. The man in the pallid mask isn't in play. Let's just go two on two, and I've got the night distance. Skull means minus two, so that's a fail. But I'll just play Deny Existence to cancel the horror aspect. Oh, and Peter healed that horror at the end of the last round. Relatively painless. Action 1. I need to punch the organist. Let's... Action 1. Engage. Action two, fight. I'll play improvised weapon to give the enemy minus one fight. So that brings him down to two, so it's two on a two. I'll play unexpected courage to make it two, that's four on a two. If you don't mind, I'm going to rotate Improvised Weapon 90 degrees to remind me that I've got a card I can play from my discard pile there. So that's 4 and a 2. Minus 1, that's a pass. That's one successful attack on the organist. So I place one. Oh, balls. I should have read the clue, the card properly. I need clues, don't I? 
That was a complete waste. I thought he was just placing a token on him to indicate he'd done a successful attack. Well, you live and you learn, don't you? Right. Action three. I'm just going to gain a resource. No enemies move, enemies attack, one horror on Pete. Move the organist so he just disengages back to my location. Ready cards, nothing to ready. We draw up to five. One, two, three, another winning it, four, five. So I have defiance, six cents, winging it, prophecy, and say your prayers. And I'm just going to double check if I've got any other play from discard piles that I missed when I was discard. I don't think I have. So I have an improvised weapon sat there ready I can use from my discard pile for dealing extra damage. Not that I can damage the dude anyway. Doom goes to three. Encounter. Spiders attached to your location and then place two doom. If there is no doom, you can discard it. It's, so it investigates to remove the doom. There's no clues there anyway, so I've already got the um, victory point, but it's going to mean this moves on quicker. At least we have, we have three. Do we have three agendas? We have three agendas. So. Um, Hopefully that's not too bad. Right, action one. I need to go to clue hunting, don't I? Let's move to the Notre Dame. Three clues, one per investigator. Sorry, three shroud, one clue per investigator. I can test head of six to remove a doom from the agenda. Head of six. Oh, and Peter heals that horror at the end of the last turn. I forgot again. Live Excel spreadsheet editing. Who'd have thought Arkham got that good? Right. I'm less familiar with these Mystic cards because I never play Mystic. Right, well, there are three Doom and Plague games. There are more than three Doom. In fact, there are two, three, four, five Doom in play. It almost gets a double question mark. I know winning it. Say your prayers, I need to be. Um, Horrified. Six cents, I can investigate using my head of four. That will be good. But it cost me three to play it. But it is an asset. So, action one was move, wasn't it? I've got no way of gaining two clues. Uh, two resources to be able to place six cents. I'm going to have to wait for it to come around a second time. Unless there's a second one in the bag, I can't remember. I'm going to investigate with winging it, and I shall discard Say Your Prayers using Cornered to um, boost it by two. So the winging it. Reduces that to a two. That boosts me to a four. So it's a four on a two. Four on a two. And I'm going to throw Defiance in as well and say Skull. Four on a two. Another sign. Why was that? 
that's twice I've said wowzer. I don't like saying wowzer. Right, so Elder Sign, I may shuffle all but one card from my discard pile into my deck. So I shall shuffle all but the improvised weapon. I don't know if that's classed as being in there yet. I just want to say not. Delays we introduced again. This was spot on at the beginning of the stream. Stupid. And the other sign is a plus one. So that was four plus one against a two. Make it a clue. They are now discarded. So that was my second action. At least I now I have a clue to deal with the organist or to get one. I think I might just carry on hunting clues. So third action, let's move to the moray. Another three shroud, one clue. When your turn begins, if you are in Le Marais, you can draw a card. Well, that's handy. So that was my third action, I believe. I moved, I investigated, I moved again. Hunt of enemies move. There are none, no enemies to attack, and the organist moves. So he's unengaged and he moves one location away from the nearest investigator. You could read that two ways, couldn't you? You, you could move it to one location away, but I'm going to read it that he's moving away. One, he's moving one location in the direction, one location in the direction of away. So. Will that be that be Montparnasse? It could be either of those two, couldn't it? Let's say that one. They're both one location further away than I am. Pete doesn't need healing. Nothing needs readying. Discard and redraw. One ward of protection. Six cents again. Two. Last chance, three, watch if I'm another dimension, four, one for your life, five, right. I have to refresh myself what Watcher does. Secretly add this enemy to your hand. Oh. You may try to evade this enemy while it is in your hand as if it were at your location. If you succeed, discard it. When you're, when you, if you fail, spawn it engaged with you. Alright. Okay, so I, if I'm reading that correctly, I need a single attack or a single evade to discard him. If the attack or evade fails, then he spawns with me. Or I just keep him in my hand? Although he is a hidden card, so he's going to stay in my hand, which means I only get a four refresh each round. So you really have this enemy to your hand. You may fight or evade this enemy while it is in your hand, as if it were at your location. If you succeed, discard it. Yeah, it's if you succeed, so I don't have to defeat him. I just have to have a single good punch or a single good evade. My evade is three. My fight is two. I do have run for your life, but my sanity is not low enough to use it. I do have last chance, but that loses the pips for cards in my hand. Sixth sense is about investigating, the ward of protection is about cancelling a counter. Right. Doom flips to four out of six. In fact, it's now six out of six because of that. So we advance.
Birds start to chirp eagerly, an orange tint slowly spreads across the sky as the creature of the night shrink back into darkness. You spend most of the day resting and the daylight passes quickly with very little show. Before you are able to fully recover, it is evening once more. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him and may move to a connecting location. And now I move the organist. So I can move. I don't, I don't want to move. I want to stay here. Organist. The organist moves one location away from the nearest investigator. Well, there is no direction he can go from this point that is further away. He's currently one, two, three, one, two, three. If he moves here, he's only two. If he moves here, he's only two. So I suspect he stays put. Link to the one at the bottom. We'll just link to this one as well. So one, that's only two to there as well. Okay, I think he stays put. So agenda 2A, the second night. The city stirs as cold shadows embrace the streets. There is danger all around you. Danger that you cannot escape. Danger that will follow you to the end of the earth. When will this waking nightmare end? My son has just arrived for breakfast, so don't worry if you can hear anything. And don't worry about making a noise. Well, I have more conviction than doubt. I don't, so I can ignore that line. Five doom to go. You all right? <laughs> and to international watchers, it is 20 to 1, and my son is just having his breakfast. <laughs> So I've added the doom, now we take an account card. Swift Biaki. It's a hunter and he has retaliate and forced. When he would move via the hunter keyword, instead move it one location at a time until it enters its prey's location. If it moved more than one location, it does not attack. That's not very nice. Okay, action one. So I've got a watch from another dimension in my hand to deal with. And I'm assuming the fact that I can fight or evade it while it's in my hand doesn't trigger an attack of opportunity because that is a fight or evade. Um, I can't use last chance yet. I can't use run for your life because I, I'm not low sanity. Ward of protection would only have worked for a treachery. Six cents will help me investigate. So I've not got a lot in my hand that's going to help me here. So I'm going to evade the watcher because I'm already at three evade thanks to Pete. I will discard Run For Your Life to get a plus two from Corner. So that puts me on five evades. That's five evade on a five for the watcher. I evade on five. I will go. Go in the water protection. Six evade on five. And let's throw six cents in as well. Seven evade on five. What am I doing? I can't do that. That's not an evade. So six evade on five. It's not very good, is it? Should I throw in a last chance as well? Last chance loses a pip for each card in your hand. I'm assuming that's after you commit it rather than before you commit it. After I commit it, I have two cards in my hand, so it loses two pips, so it gains three. I was attacking a five. I forgot what I was doing. Three, four, five, six. There's now seven, eight, nine on a five. Nine on a five to evade the watcher. That is a success with a minus one. The watcher is discarded. Second action, I have no cards left. I now need to try and fight the Biaki. He has a health of three. Um, I have one resource. I will play improvised weapon from my discard pile Got game one 
So I'm now, he gets a minus one fight, so that brings him down to one. And I am fighting with two. And I will use corner to discard six cents to three, four. Four on a one. Minus two, that's a pass. Because improvised weapon was played from my discard pile, that does two damage. And because it was played from my discard pile, it gets shuffled back into my hand, into my deck. So action one was evading the watcher. Action two was fighting the biaki. That should be the go around two damage. So action three, I suppose there's no. Well, it's got to retaliate. There's no harm in having a punch, I guess. Have a flat punch on the Biaki. Two on a two. We'll do one of each back to you if I fail. Two on a two. Cultist minus two. If you fail, move Biaki's in play while he's already engaged with it. And he does a retaliation. So one goes on Peter, one goes on me. One goes on me, not three goes on me. So that was my third action. Come to enemies move, there are none, apart from the one that's already engaged with me. Enemies attack, so I take another one of each. Didn't think that three, did I? Organist moves, I, he stays put because there's nowhere further away from me. Heal Pete, ready cards. Draw up to five. Perception. Reckless Assault, it only works if I have three or fewer sanity. Fearless, if it's successful, heal a horror. Defiance again. And. Improvised weapon. Okay. Doom. One. Encounter. Always oh, another swift Biaki. Oh dear. I did shuffle these cards. I did. Right, first action. I need to deal with these Biaki. 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 Okay, first thing I shall do. I will play Improvised Weapon for Hide Card because I haven't got any money. I didn't take a resource on the upkeep, so now I spend that one on Improvised Weapon. So I fight the Biaki, that reduces him to one, so I'm fighting with a two on a one. Two on a one, and I shall commit Defiance as well to make it three on a one. And say, Cultist. Three on a one minus one. Sorry, I'm off screen. Three on a one minus one. That's a success. So I've done another damage to the Biaki, which defeats it. And now I have another one to deal with, but I have no money to pay for my second to replay that. So action two. Cards in my hand are no good other than a corner to test. So, action one, attack, commit, not commit, play, discard reckless assault for a plus two bonus with cornered. So that's a 
four on a two. Skull. Means minus doom. There is one doom, four on minus one on a two. That's a pass. So one damage. Action three. We'll do it again. I'll use corner to discard. Fearless. So I'm attacking a three, four on a two. Zero. So that's the second damage on him. Unfortunately, it means he's going to stick around. Right, hunter enemies move. Well, he's already engaged when the enemies attack, so that's one of each on me. So that flips over to a three, and Peter can take the horror. Organist moves, he can't go further away. Ready cards, heal Pete. <coughs> we draw to five. One, two, two, unexpected courage in the bagging area. Three, this is really. Four, one for your life. And five, another improvised weapon. And the resource. Don't forget, don't forget. Doom, that flips to two out of five, and an encounter card. Tortuous cause, or torturous cause. Test head of five, if you fail, put it in your threat area with a resource on it for each point you fail by. Each time you play a card, increase the cost by one. And remove that resource from tortuous cords. That's not very nice. Okay, so head of five. I'll go. My head is four. I'll play an unexpected courage in the banging area to go six. And I'm going to discard mists of really for cornered to make. Eight. Eight on a five. Minus two. That's a pass. That toast smells very nice, Jam. You're making me hungry. Sorry. And I'm on a diet, I'm not eating toast. Right. Action one. Let's pay one to use improvised weapon on the B guy. So I'm fighting with two. And that gives it a minus one. So that's two against one. And I shall use corner to discard one for your life to make it four against one. Cultist minus two. That's a pass. So that sticks the third damage on the Biaki. He's gone. Action two. Right, we need to get investigating. I will investigate. I have my book is two, shroud of three. But I guess that that improvised weapon that played from my hand, didn't it? So that can be played on my discard pile later. Um, crumbs have again 50 minutes already. Right, let's investigate with an unexpected courage in the banging area. So that's two, four, four on three. Oh, I could have been drawing an extra card every round. Arr, failed. And action three. I'll take a resource. No, action three. That was my action three, wasn't it? Because I. Oh, whatever. I'm near the bottom of the table anyway. Penalty's not going to matter. 
Once your enemies move, there are none. Enemies attack, no one's engaged. The organist can't move further away. Ready cards, heal Pete. Go up to five. Guts. Dexterity. Winging it. Merger. Deny existence. And say your prayers. Doom. Three out of five. Encounter. Is it another Swift Bayaki? No, it's Black Stars Rise. Test book of four. If you fail, place a Doom on the agenda or take a horror for each point you fail by and it can cause the agenda to advance. So book of five. My book is two. This isn't good. Book of five. I use corner to discard say your prayers because I can't use it yet. Oh, maybe not. Because if I take horror, then it's usable. But realistically, am I going to use another head test this round? Probably not. Whoa. Right, so let's use cornered to discard that to give me a boost of two. So now it's four on a five. Now let's undo, undo, undo. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was water protection, it's not. No. Yeah, 415 to discard, say your prayers, using cornered. So that puts me, yeah, 4 and a 5. 2 plus 2 against a 5. No, 4. 2 plus 2 against a 4. 4 against a 4. 4 against a 4. I can't speak properly. 4 against a 4. Let's have deny existence five against a four. Five against a four. Wow. Wow. So that's four horror. One obviously goes on Peter. And then three goes on me but at least it means I'm able to use these desperate cards now when they start cycling back I mean reading that if you fail you must either place one doom on the current agenda or take one horror for each point you fail by I could just go one doom. No, I'll take the horror because it will empower me with those skill cards. Right, action one. Let's get investigating again. Winging it. Um, so that brings the shroud down to two. I'm now doing a sh investigating a two on two. I will use cornered to discard guts to make it four on a two. Skull minus X is the amount of doom, that's three, that's a fail. Action two, we'll do the same again and discard manual discs. Oh no, so that's now in my discard pile. But I can't play my, that from my discard pile because I don't have a money's Action two, get a monies. Action three, pay, play, winging it from a discard pile. You cornered to discard dexterity. So that brings it down to a two, and I'm investigating a four and a two again. Plus one. Second clue. No enemies to move. No enemies to attack. Organist doesn't move. Pete heals. You draw five cards, gain a resource. One, desperate search. Two, reckless assault. Three, ward of protection. Four, overpower. Five, impromptu barrier. I can't remember what impromptu barrier is. You can play it from your discard pile. So it's the evade version of winging it and um, improvised weapon. 
doom. That flips to four out of five. And counter card says Deadly Fate. Test head of three. If you fail, discard cards from the top of your counter deck until an enemy is discarded. You either draw his enemy or he attacks you from the discard pile. Test head of three. I think. I'm just going to ward that off. No, I'm not. So I take a horror anyway, so I could take a horror. Right, test head of three. My head is four. I have nothing I can boost it by other than a cornered. I'll spend cornered. I'll use cornered to discard that to boost me by two. So that's six on a three. Skull is minus. Four failed again. So I discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. No, 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 no. Stealthy Biaki. So that's two damage, one horror. So I either draw it, it's five fight, it's hunter. Pretty easier to fight when exhausted, or he just gets a hit on me from the discard pile. As much as I don't really want to, I think I take a hit. Right. Two and then Pete takes the horror. Okay, action one. I need another clue and then we can start dealing with the organist. Let's go, action one, we'll move to Montmartre. Three shroud again. One clue. Right. So action one, I'm going to pay one for winning it from my discard pile. I will, so that brings that down to a shroud of two. I'll use cornered to discard impromptu barrier to boost me to four. That's four on a two. No, I won't do that. I'm not so I'm not, I'll just use the desperate search because I'm now down to three or fewer sanity because I have four horror on me. So that gives me a boost of four. So winging it drops that to a two. This boosts me to a six. So six on a two. So minus four, isn't it? So that's a pass. Right, so I have the three clues now to deal with the organist. And I played winging it from my hand. Or did I play it from my discard? I played it from my discard pile, didn't I? So it goes back into my deck. Action two, I'm just going to move. Action three, I'll sorry, reveal that. And action three, move. Alright, hunter enemies move, there are none. Enemies attack, he's aloof. The organist moves one location away from me, so where shall we send him? 
We'll send him here. Ready cards, heal Pete. You draw to five. One. Two. Desperate search, mists of really. Deny existence. Lost soul. Overpower. So lost soul. Check campaign log if you're more or equal doubt of conviction. I do. So I test book of X where X is your head. So I test book of five uh, four. If I fail, take two damage. Book of four. My book is two. I can't afford to take the damage because that would kill me. Or I kill Pete. So four against two. No, sorry, two against four. I'm going to commit Desperate Search. So that makes it six against four. And I will also commit. Also, discard Mists of Rally with Cornered to add another two. So that's. I've already forgotten. Two, six, eight against four. Eight against four. Cultist minus two. That's a pass. You have two cards now. Doom, that goes to five, so this advances. To your relief, the sun once again begins to rise. Blah 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 blah. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him and may move to a connection location. Move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. That. If Jordan Perry is not listed under VIPs slain, I very much doubt he is, and I don't think I have got him ready to play. Jordan Perry, I didn't kill anybody if I remember right. No. So, I can find Jordan Perry now. I wasn't expecting this. So, Jordan Perry, it will be in the last king, won't it? Jordan Perry, an imposing presence, is that right? Yeah, spawn him in, man. All oh, right. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. And now we have five doom left. We have more conviction than doom. This gains blah blah, blah which I don't. Encounter. Deadly fate again. Test head of three. My head is four. Zero, that's a pass. Come on, let's get moving now. Action one. No, oh, I've got to move twice, haven't I? Is that a rail location? I didn't get a resource. Is that a rail location? It is. Action one, spend a resource, travel by rail to the organist. Action two, engage the organist. Action three, punch the organist. I'm fighting with a two. Overpower makes it a four, four on a three, and I'll discard that to make it six on a three using corner. Six on a three minus one is a pass, one clue on the organist. 
Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to disappear one second. Sorry about that. I'm back. Right. Uh, where were we? On to enemies move. So, Jordan Perry moves there. I'm here. I'm with the organist. And the attack, he sticks a horror on. Pete, organist disengages and moves away from me. There's no way I'm moving him here, so I'm going to move him here. Ready cards, heal Pete. Draw five. One, two, three, four, five. I do, I'm having a niggling fear here that I may have forgotten to put the man in the pallid mask in my deck. But the argument is, the instructions don't tell you to when you die. Tell me as a comment about the, the um, brooch clasp thing. Right, 
doom. One out of five, the clock is ticking. Encounter. Screeching Biaki. Brilliant. Does engage provoke an attack of opportunity? I don't want to rule check. I don't th I think it does. Sorry. Should know this. Fight evade parley resign. Yeah, so it does. So I've got to deal with the Biaki first. Oh, he gets extra fight and evade because of my current horror and damage situation. A damage horror situation, shall I say. Right. I think I have to evade the Biaki so I can get another damage. Oh, and I've got to move to the organist first. Oh, this has really slowed me. This is going to stop me now. I think I'm down. I'm going to die. Right. That should be my discard pile. Did I forget to draw a resource again? So these are what I discarded from my last go. I think I forgot to draw a resource, didn't I? Not that I can afford St. Hubert's Key or Patrice's Violin, so Hubert's Key is no good to me anyway because that gives me minus two sanity, which almost kills me. Patrice's Violin would be nice for some extra cards. But I don't think it's going to do me much good now. Right, so I need... I need to evade the Biaki. I need to move there and engage the organist so at least it doesn't run away any further. It would then mean these two are together on the next turn. Right, let's evade, let's evade the Biaki. My evade is two, three with Pete. There is only one Doom in play, so Prophecy doesn't get a boost. So I will discard Prophecy using Cornered to get a plus two. That's what's now three, four, five on a three. Five on a three, and I'll discard Patrice's violin. Five, six, seven on a three. Zero. So the Biaki is evaded. Action two, move. Action three, engage the organist just to stop him running away. On to enemies move, he stays put, he moves here. It isn't connected, is it? No, thank goodness. Enemies attack, organist does one horror to Pete. Organist disengages, so drops back to my location.
Ready cards, heal Pete. Patrice redraws to five. One, two, three, four. So that's perception, winging it. Another Pete, and last chance. And now out of cards. So I need to shuffle this. And I can't remember. Is it take a horror, I think, to um I think it's take a horror to um recycle your deck. Which I shall selflessly. Oh, they should be in it as well. And number five, fearless. Get my resource. Doom puts that to two out of five. Counter. Hunted by Biaki, test evade of six. If you fail, reveal the top X cards of the encounter deck, where X is what you failed by. And then if Biaki or Omen are revealed, bad stuff happens. So, evade, I'm on four, uh, three evade. Last chance is no good to me at the moment until I have no cards in my hand. Winging it's only good for so I'm going to discard winging it to boost two by with corners. So that's one of three. That's five against a six. Five against a six, and I may as well throw in last chance. I now have three cards in my hand, so it loses three. So that's another two. So it's three, four, five, six, seven against a six, and I can't boost it by any more than that. Seven against a six. Minus four, so that's three against a six. So I failed by three. Discard the top three cards. We have a Pact, we have a Terror, we have a Biaki. Brilliant. is rapidly turning into Benny Hill. I'm going to have a whole queue of enemies chasing me around the map at this rate. That's scuppered it now. I, I really I thought I had a plan. I thought what I could do was engage, fight, move with him and then do that again so that I'm, I'm keeping away from these hunter enemies. But this is going to ruin that now. Well, I could do it without the fight. I think as long as I successfully evade first. So my evasion is three, he is three. So action one, use cornered, discard. Doesn't really matter, does it? Discard fearless, so it puts me on two, three, four, that's five against a three. I've got nothing else I can boost it with. If this fails, I'm not getting away. Five against a three. Minus one, that's a pass. So he is evaded at this location here. Second action, engage. Third action, move with the organist to here. Taking an attack of opportunity of one horror, which I put on Pete. Right, Hunter enemies, oh these should be ready, well this one should be ready, that one I just evaded. Hunter enemies move, so they all move here. Enemies attack, uh, non, oh, oh no, the, uh, yeah he gets another one on me doesn't he. 
not thinking straight. Now the organist just disengages from me back at that location. Ready card TLP. Take a resource. Draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have two deny existence, existence, Hubert's key, a last chance, and I say your prayers. Doom goes to three out of five. Talk about cutting it fine. Encounter, please not another Biaki. Yellow sign, test head of four. Okay, I'm going to commit to say your prayers to this. Because I have three or fewer sanity, I'm on three or five out of seven. So that puts me on four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on a four. Skull is minus three, that's a pass. Action one, engage the organist. Action two, fight the organist. I have a fight of two against his three. I will discard deny existence to boost me to four against three. Then I will commit last chance. Oh, other cards cannot be committed. Well, that's not committing. That's discarding a card to boost my skill value. So that's fine, I think. So I'm doing, so it was two plus two, four. I have two cards left in my hand. So that loses two pips. One, two, three. So that's seven against the three. Please, oh please, seven against the three. <sighs> I think it's going to be game over, isn't it? There's only seven. Because if I don't get away now, these are all going to come after me. And there's only two rounds left. Action three, move with the organist. Take an attack of opportunity, which I put on Pete. Hunter enemies move. This little squad. Or pop along to here. He attacks another horror, three, four, five. That's putting me on six out of seven horror. And the organist now disengages from me back at my location. Ready cards, heal P. We draw to five and get a resource. Not spending any money now, am I? Overpower, St. Hubert's Key, Manual Dexterity, Impromptu Barrier, Guts. Doom, we go to four out of five. Encounter, it's going to be an enemy, isn't it? No, false lead if you have no clues. I do have clues. Oh, I can't afford to lose my clues on the highest shroud location on the board. If you have one more clues, just head of five, uh, book of four. My book is two. I will discard impromptu barrier to make it four against four. Using cornered, but I've got nothing else I can do. Four against four. Minus four. For each point you fit. That's it, I'm done. I'm done. I have no clues left now, so I can't damage the organist any further. Let's play it out anyway.
Faction one, investigate. My investigation is two. All I can do is boost it to a four and it's a five. Wait a minute, do I have a wing in it? I don't think I do. I do, I have a wing in it. So a pair one to play winging it from a discard pile. That brings the shroud down to four. I shall pay use corner to discard St. Hubert's key. Why is impromptu barrier discarded? Was that because I was gonna impromptu barrier is what I just discarded, isn't it? I think. Because I only have four cards in my hand, this is my first action. Did I use or did I use it on the yellow sign? I probably did. Okay, discard St. Hubert's key. So I'm now going a four and a four. And I can't improve it. Four and a four. Game over, man. Minus two. Fell by two. I played that from my discard pile, so that goes into my deck. While you are investigating, double the number of skill icons on cards committed to this skill test. Why did I not notice that before? Draw. Second action draw. Third action. Well, does it really matter? Everyone's going to come and get me now. I think I'm just going to end it. I can't. I can't get those clues. Unless I go to Grand Gunyob at the top. But then all those enemies are going to be here, so I can't get out again. And there's only... Well, this is the final turn, so pass. Hunt to enemies, move. Boom. Kill. That's a one and a one. Two and a two. One and a two. So that makes it two and a three. Three, four, and a four. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's four of each. So three, four, five, I've got two spare, three, six, I've got one spare. So I guess I choose, I will take the sanity trauma. Ending on turn 14. At one point there, I thought I was going to do it. I thought I was going to lead these hunters a merry chase and just manage to lob three hits on the organist in time, but it failed. So let's check the resolution. Resolution. Uh, yeah, we were defeated. We did not escape the gaze of the Phantom. I swap the cultists for elder things. And um, do I get any victory points? One. One victory point. Go me. Woohoohoo! Right, there we go. Told you it would be an unmitigated disaster. Actually, it went better than I thought it was going to, and if it wasn't for those bad pulls at the end, I was I could have got those three hits on the organist, but the game wasn't having it. Okay, thank you very much for playing. No, playing. I was the one playing, if you can call it that. Watching. Do apologise for my scorers. That's an hour and a half of the old life you will never get back. Um, see you next time.